Vert, how you doing today? Uh, I'm going to actually post this on my uh, my forum, the uh, the Excellent Bars thread, so you can find it there. Um, you uh, sent me a little question. You need a little bit of help in opening a spot in Stockton, California. One of the things you're asking asking for is a uh, recommended list of liquors. Here's what I would do. I would first contact all of your liquor reps that are in the area. There's probably going to be two or three different companies. Uh, Southern Wine and Spirits is usually a big one. It should be easy to find those guys. I would go ahead and contact them, get them to bring to you the list of all of the liquors that they represent. So you want to get all the reps down there because you're going to have competing lines of wells and premiums. And, and what you want to do is you want to be able to figure out who in your area is stepping up because this is your opportunity to get a lot of money out of these people. You want to be able to go in there and let them know that, hey, you know, so few bars open up. If you want my business, you're going to have to step up to the plate. I am building my venue and spending hundreds and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, to provide a place to sell your products. So once you get that across them, they know that you're, you're serious and they know that they need to step up to the plate in order to play ball, all right? So this is your opportunity to start to get money because there's so many different uh, lines of uh, vodka. There's so many lines of uh, rum, so many lines of tequila. This is your chance to really get out there. A lot of players are spending some money right now, so a couple good names are Corzo. Corzo is a great tequila. Those guys are, have been coming after us. They're doing a great job. Red Bull's making a big push in the market. Stoli's making a big push in the market. Sky Vodka's making a big push in the market. These guys are all really good, all right? So let me see what else you got here. Uh, all right, for inventory, all right, once again, for your standard inventory, we just kind of went over that, is you're going to basically need your tequilas, your vodkas, your rums. You're going to have your top shelf, your liqueurs. You're going to need all of these. It's, it's a pretty wide array of uh, liquors and liqueurs that you're going to need. Our back bar... We have about 57 bottles on our back bar, so it's a pretty good number. We have minimized our number. We've got that mirrored throughout the bar in three different areas, all right? Um, okay, money. In different areas, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your sponsors before you open up, and you're going to want them to come down and give you free product. It's so important. you got to know that you are going to do a grand opening party, a VIP party, and probably a friends and family party, and you're going to be giving away alcohol. This is a great chance for you to get those sponsors and all those liquor companies involved to have them bring down cases of their product. If they're trying to push a certain product, this is where they need to bring that down. And you really push that product out over the bars while you're uh, having those special events. This saves you tons and tons of money. Anything you have left over, you could probably use for your continuing operations. Budweiser will do this. Coors will do this. Miller will do this. And all the liquor companies will do this. It's something that you really need to think about. It's a way to save yourself ten, maybe $12,000, depending on what your marketplace is. Like here where I'm at, it's really, really tough to do that. But in other marketplaces... They have no problem bringing out cases and cases of uh, support for you. Nope, my laptop's going down. Um, the trend in specialty drinks right now, mojitos are hot. Mojitos are really, really hot right now. Something else that's hot in the area we're in is called a Tic Tac shot. A Tic Tac shot's a really hot thing. It's got Red Bull in it. Um, you know, Red Bull is really, uh, uh, Red Bull vodkas are a huge, huge staple in, in the marketplace. So I'd really, I'd really put that up, you know. Stoli has uh, got a bunch of things going on, so let's see what else we got. Um... All right. You know, for your age and your experience, you guys say you're 26 and 27 years old, husband and wife, all right? I just want you to know a couple pitfalls going into this. You guys are going to be living together 24 hours a day. I mean, hardcore. There's a lot of, a lot of stress that's going to be involved in this. You guys both need to be mentally prepared. I would make a list for each one of you of what your goals are. And I would write that list down and I would put it away in a safe place. And as you're going along, every couple months, I would open up that list and reread that list to put you back to ground zero, to put you back to your center. Because things are going to get way out of control and sometimes you guys are going to have a lot of stress with finances, a lot of stress with dealing with your contractors and building and remodeling. And, and it's a good idea for you guys to put this list together because you don't have a lot of experience. Do a lot of research. You know, you guys need to find out what your goal is right now and, and, and something to where you're going to lose sight of it. You, you, no battle plan survives battle. All right, that's that's a good analogy, and, and, and it's something that you should look at and, and really assess, and your lives are going to change drastically over this next year, maybe two years. 
So I'd really sit down and talk to each other about issues that are going to arise out of building a bar, uh, how you're going to act in front of a staff, how you're going to act differently in front of patrons, how you're going to interact with, uh, with vendors, playing good cop, bad cop with vendors, playing good cop, bad cop with your staff. You guys need to figure a lot of this stuff out right now. This is, this is a very important time for you in the developing stages of this. So uh, good luck. Wednesday night. <laughs> All right. It is uh, Wednesday night here at the Dirty. We got the Dirty Crew in the house. Uh, Becky, say hi, Blue. Becky. Blue. Becky's a superstar. Try. Becky's our super anchor. I think she was on one of her videos before. Yes, she was. I do remember you. I you do being... think maybe I was. Yeah, yeah. Are we saying we get Joe? Joe, say what's up, man. Joe's what's up. Yeah. Joe's, uh, Becky, how is, uh, this is our first Wednesday night. Uh, it's a good Wednesday night. I uh, found out that one of the other competition bars in the area has only five people in it and has only had five people in it all night. Wow, and we did pretty damn good. And they there. hired a DJ. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, we have DJ Becky tonight. We do. Becky did a great job. That was some sick ass DJ and the skills on you. Oh, whoa, whoa. People were about to leave. Skills. And then they stopped because the music was so good. They stayed true. for another song. That's right. It's true. What can I say? That's right. Becky's actually going to be help us doing, uh, she's going to be start to bring her crowd in here on uh, Wednesday. Becky knows like everybody and their mother. Actually, she just goes through the phone book and starts just blindly just pointing. People. Yeah, just calling people. You know, calling. listen, if I have you don't a come. shot for you down here. That's that's right. <laughs> if you don't come down here, I'm going to call your wife. Tell her you're cheating on her. <laughs> if you do come down here, I'm taking pictures to prove it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah, we had a bunch of the uh, the nightclub bar people from the local area in today. They're all pretty cool. They are. They are. We're yeah. hoping they'll come back on Sunday. I beg you know you're going to have a lot of fans on the internet now because of this. I hope so. That's right. I hope they tune in just do to you wanna, Do you want to give update. your MySpace address out so people can come and be your fan? I'm going to pass on that one. Um, Pass. All right. All we right. gotta ask her in person. Yeah, they have to come down here and ask. She's gotta prove. They there can get go. my URL if they ask. There you go. There you go. If you, anybody wants uh, to get on Becky, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Becky's MySpace. Just uh, shoot us any. Uh, shoot us a uh, yeah, uh, email, email back. Email. Yeah. Click, away. click away. Click away. You can always find me on the dirty MySpace. There you go. There you go. All Browse, right. peruse. All right. Later. Thanks, guys. <laughs>